Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we'd like to show you how to change color of a cell on cell click at the same time perform color count. In this video, I'm going to use the availability of room as the example. Let's go to developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Double click underneath the worksheet, that is sheet 1. From the list of objects, select worksheet. Instead of using the procedure selection to Change, we use before double click. Since I wish to change from one color to the other, when the user double click on a particular cell, delete the advantage procedure. In the before double click procedure, I would use the if condition to move from one color to the other. Start by green color to refer to the active cell that is the cell that the user click. We can make use of the variable target created along with this procedure. So we type target and we use the dot interior dot color property and set equal to VB green. If this is the case, then I would change the target cell to red. Instead of retyping again, let's copy and paste it here. All we have to do is change to VB red. On the other hand, which is else if the target cell is red, then I would change to VB blue. Continue with this manner, we have else if the cell is blue in color, then we should change to yellow otherwise that is else we change back to we be green start with if of course we need to and with if and now let's back to the spreadsheet simply double click on any cell of the desired area the color is changed an issue we should notice here when we double click on any cell we are in the editing mode and this is quite annoying to overcome this let's back to visual basic after we have changed the cell let's use the other dummy that is cancel so we set cancel be equal to true let's back to the spreadsheet and try again and this this time we won't be in the editing mode when we double click on any cell as we can see here and we can now write formula to perform color count unfortunately there is no function that could perform color count but don't worry let's make this function available go to visual basic this time we should insert a module since we are going to use as a function we have to start typing by using the word function space type the name of this function for example i want it to be get color bracket if let's say we need variable we have to type by value followed by the dummy or any word to represent the variable as long as it is not reserved so let's say i use the dummy cell and we could define it as range since we are going to determine the color of a particular cell so we need a dummy and we should define as range close bracket and press enter and we should set the function get color be equal to the function that is able to read the color so we have cell dot interior dot color in order to ensure that the get color always reflect the correct value we should let excel know that this cell is not fixed but it may change so we should make use of the application dot volatile and send through now let's back to the spreadsheet type a formula to read the color we can set equal to some bracket i'm going to use the map function to match the array with the desired color let's select the array make a comma and we should use the lambda function to create formula since we have only one array so we would need only one parameter comma use if function to return the value bracket let's call the function that we created that is get color we should refer to this array that is with the parameter a close bracket and this color must be exactly equal to the color of the desired status we should fix the cell since it is fixed for this status close bracket comma and set the value when it is true of course it's one since we are performing hit count comma value e false which is zero close bracket to end the if function close bracket to end the lambda function close bracket to end the map function 
and close bracket to end the sum function. Press enter and we should obtain the correct heat count. Let's check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 correct. Let's select the cell, move the cursor to the bottom right corner, click and drag it, and we should obtain all the color count. Let's make a final check. If let's say we double click on any cell, as we can see, the value is not updated. This is because we are changing the cell format instead of changing the cell content. So the value is not updated automatically. To overcome this issue, let's back to Visual Basic. Back to Sheet 1. Before we end this up, we should calculate the value. Firstly, call the worksheet. So we have worksheets bracket. The index of this worksheet, let's check which is 1. Close bracket and use the dot range property bracket. Always type as string. So we need quotation marks. Let's back to spreadsheet. We need the range from Q3 up to Q10. Back to Visual Basic. Type it here. Q3. Use colon to indicate range up to Q10. Quotation mark and close bracket. And finally, use dot calculate. Back to the spreadsheet and check. Simply double click on any cell and we should see that the value is updated automatically as we can see here. This can also be done if you have different colors. Using the similar formula, start with the sum function bracket followed by map function bracket and the array should be entire aerial. Let's fix it by pressing the function key F4. Comma, proceed to the formula by using the lambda function bracket. Again, we need a parameter. Since this area is selected as single array, also with only one parameter. Comma, again, use if function to return the value. If the get color of the array, that is A, is exactly equal to the get color of the status, we should return a value of 1, otherwise 0. Close bracket to end if, close bracket to end lambda, close bracket to end map, and close bracket to end sum. Press enter and we should obtain the correct value. And now click and drag to obtain all the calculation. As we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.